Hi, I'm Mario Barros and I'm a design educator and researcher at Auburn University. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that includes smartphones, our environment, our choices and our future. It's about smartphones and repairability. Think about this for a moment. Almost everyone you know has a smartphone. These devices have become an integral part of our lives. But here's the catch. We replace them every two years. Most of them end up in landfills. Should we treat our smartphones as disposable devices or should they last longer? The question is about more than just the trash. The production of smartphones involves mining materials, shipping them to factories to manufacture components, and then shipping the finished products to stores. All of these processes emit CO2 gases that contribute to global warming. Shockingly, around 80% of these emissions occur before we even get to use our smartphones. That's why the choices we make when our smartphones break have a direct impact on the environment. Imagine this, repairing all smartphones in Europe to extend their lifespan by just one more year could result in a reduction of CO2 emissions equivalent to removing over a million cars from our roads. This is why smartphone repairability is important. Many consumer organizations have recognized this issue and have called upon smartphone producers to make their products easier to repair so they can last longer. These organizations have also asked legislators to create laws that promote repairability. Now, what exactly makes a smartphone easy to repair? This is the basis of our research. The ease of repairability can be measured using an index of repairability. A high score indicates that a device is easily repairable, while a low score suggests the opposite. The index evaluates different aspects, such as the ease of opening the smartphone, replacing its parts, or how long you have access to software updates. In our research, we compare two different indexes of repairability. One created by iFixit, an online community of tech enthusiasts, and another established by laws in France. The French law requires smartphone producers to display the repairability score next to the price tag, therefore allowing consumers to make informed choices about their purchases. In our study, we selected flagship models from Apple and Samsung. Because these are the world-leading smartphone producers, their practices have a major impact in how the market works. We also included smartphones from Fairphone, a company committed to producing repairable and upgradable devices. Our aim was to determine whether a high repairability score truly meant a smartphone was designed to be easily repairable. If it scores high, it has the potential to last longer, ultimately reducing the environmental impact associated with the short lifespan of smartphones. Our findings reveal that the smartphone can achieve a high repairability score for various reasons. One key factor is the ease of disassembling and reassembling the parts. However, in the French law, a glued smartphone can still score high if the producer offers quick and relatively cheap repairs. Our study also brought up another critical point for discussion. Software updates can impact repair. For instance, if you replace a smartphone part yourself or visit an independent repairer, the producer can block the functionality of the replaced part remotely. This raises questions about the balance between producer control and consumer rights when it comes to repairs. The study highlights that the analyzed indexes of repairability are different in nature and scope. iFixit focuses on self-repair, while the French legislation has a more direct impact on how producers approach repairability. However, if the French law wants producers to make substantial changes, it needs to change the way they calculate the score. We propose that the ease of opening up the smartphone and the number of steps to replace a part should have more weight in the final score. In this case, 
producers would have to make smartphones easier to repair for everyone, consumers and other repairers alike. So remember this the next time you go to repair your smartphone instead of rushing to buy a new one. Choosing repairability over disposability makes a lasting impact on our environment and our wallets. Our choices matter and they can shape a more sustainable future for all of us. Thank you.